Could it be that the reason why some of us lack enough resources is because our vision is not standing? Because what attracts resources is vision. God is more involved in your vision more than your need and wants. Say after me, say, I'm blessed. blessed. Oh, come on, say it a minute. Say, I am blessed. For the next 30 to 35 minutes, I'm going to be, you know, just continuing in the flow of the prosperity reign. How many of you have been blessed by the series? Prosperity reign. And testimonies are rolling in, and I declare in the name of Jesus, this testimony list will be incomplete until yours come in. You will have a proof that this series was designed for you. Prosperity reign, you know, it's been prophetic more than instructional. Of course, there are some instructions that comes with the flow, but more than ever, there's been a release of the power of God to confirm his word where this series is concerned. One of the things that God, I mean, stressed at the beginning of this series is that this series should not be built around principles primarily. Because beyond principle, there is an expression of the power of God that helps you to prosper. It is the will of God for you to prosper. Turn to your name and say, God needs me prosperous. Tell at least three people around you so that they can believe you. Say, God needs me prosperous. He needs me prosperous. Come on, shall we say, God needs me prosperous. Ladies and gentlemen, God is not for poverty. God is not in support of insufficiency or lack. Deficiency does not glorify God. Nothing can be more frustrating than having big dreams without resources to execute it. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. In fact, the Bible says, hope defiles, make the heart what? I mean, there's no point. The design of God is that every authentic vision must have provision. In fact, the word provision is from two words. For, vision, pro, vision. So could it be that the reason why some of us lack enough resources is because our vision is not standing. Because what attracts resources is vision. God is more involved in your vision more than your need and wants. Hmm. Does he want to clothe you? Yes. Does he want to provide food for you? Yes. Does he want you to live a good life? Yes. But more importantly, he needs you to be able to conceive a vision from him. See, after me, say, I have capacity to conceive vision for God. So today, there are a few things the Lord highlighted on my spirit, and I'm going to be sharing with you along those things, talking about prosperity reign. By the way, tomorrow, we're going to be praying along the line of opportunities everywhere. Don't you dare say, tomorrow, we pray. At what time? 3 p.m. And the focus is opportunities everywhere. One of the things I've said over and over in this series is that there is a spirit of revelation that causes you to see because it's possible for you to be surrounded by opportunities and you cannot see it but there is a help of God that enlightens you that causes you to see opportunities think about it why will God bring you into a world when he has no plans to take care of you so if you are not being taken care of it's not because the resources to take care of you are not available, but it's simply because you cannot see it. And it does not matter where you are located. For as long as you are in the will of God, your opportunities are there. And that's why God will tell Isaac, stay in Gerar, Genesis 26. There was famine in the land and God insisted, this is my will for your life to be in this place. And in spite of the famine, you will prosper. So we don't chase prosperity. We locate ourselves in the will of God, expectant that by the help of the Spirit of God, we will see what needs to be seen. There are opportunities for you. Oh my God, can you get on your feet? Let's pray. 
Can you say one more time? Say my opportunities. I can hear you say my opportunities will be seen in this season. Are you ready to pray? This is not the time to check your phone or monitor what is happening all around the world. This is the time to pray. Psalm 91 says you will call upon him and he will what? He will answer you. I don't know if you want to be answered in every area of your life. I don't know if you want to be answered where your resources are concerned. You're going to pray in the next few minutes. Say, Lord, open my eyes to see. Every opportunity that has my label on it. Every opportunity that has my name on it. The opportunities in my city. The opportunities in my neighborhood. The opportunity in my space. Help me to see. Somebody shouts, I will see my opportunities. Somebody shouts, I will see my opportunities. Listen, six years ago, Pastor Godfrey can be a witness. I was living somewhere we met and I decided to take a prayer walk. May you take the necessary prayer walk. Thank God I did not shut down that instant. So I stood. I thought I, thought I was just praying. Makru, aka, kaka. Little did I know that there was a house on my street that's going on foreclosure. And if you know anything about what we met, that is rare. Houses rarely go on foreclosure in we met. So I was praying, Bogo, Bogo, Bogo. And it just happened that I got there and I saw, really? Do you know, without wasting time, I called him up. I said, Pastor Godfrey, meet me here. In 24 hours, we put in offer. That's the house I live in. And in less, in about one year, the house was worth double what we bought it. Somebody shout opportunities. Opportunities. You are in a church that is a product of opportunities discovered. If I had not gone to the naming ceremony of my good friend, well, no wonder the girl loves me and I love her too. She sees me every, she's normal, she's the chairman, chair lady of my uh, fans club. It was a naming ceremony we went for. And somebody came and said, there's a property I think is yours. And this is the property. Are you listening to me? Yes, somebody shout opportunities. opportunities. Have I communicated with those two testimonies? Have I communicated? You're going to pray, say, Lord, in this season, help me to see my opportunities. There's no such thing as, oh, in this city, it cannot be done. Your opportunities are there. There are opportunities for you in your space. There are opportunities for you everywhere. Can you lift up your voice? I say in the the name of Jesus. The spirit of revelation is working in my life to see my opportunities so that I will have provision for my vision. Lift up your voices and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. I want you to pray fervently. Begin to say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I will not toil in this season, but I see by the Spirit of God. I see opportunities in my space. I see opportunities in my industry. I see opportunity in my city. I see opportunity in my country. I see opportunities globally. Lift up your voices. There are opportunities where your career is concerned. There are opportunities. Sotaba, where the works of your hand is concerned, beyond effort, there is a help of God that causes you to thrive, that causes you to prosper. There is a spirit of favor that helps you to be seen. Begin to say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I will encounter my opportunities. I will see my opportunities. I will see my opportunities. I will see my opportunities. Makasota bralakataya. Two more minutes. Say, Lord, help me to see my opportunities. Help me to design, to develop sensitivity, to see opportunities where my life is concerned. People struggle because they cannot see opportunities. Raise your voice. He said, you will call upon him and he will answer you. Let that be your heart cry. Say, Lord, open my eyes to see my opportunities. There are opportunities everywhere. Lord, I declare this is my season for opportunities. In the name of Jesus, somebody shall remain. 
still along the line of opportunities, you're going to pray, say, Lord, if there's anything that's supposed to be my opportunity that I've overlooked in this season, Lord, help me to see it. Lyrics of your voice, I say in the name of Jesus, everything around me that I overlook, but there are opportunities. I see it in the name of Jesus. I said, I see it in the name of Jesus. Makasota pralakataya, matoya, makaya. I will not waste opportunities in this season. Matokro balakataya, kataya, ambralakota, ekasota, matasa, akakato paral, ambralakataya, shota pralakataya, matosa. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout amen. amen. And severally, several times, opportunities are locked in relationship. There are people that you are having casual relationship with, but you are supposed to be having intentional relationship with. Because there's something they carry for you. You're going to pray for the next one minute. Say, everyone around me that carries something that is connected to my opportunity. In this season, I will maximize it. Lift up your voices in prayer. Everyone around me, that who has opportunity that is mine, locked inside of him, locked inside of her, Matobakia, I will not waste those precious relationship. I will capitalize on it. Malakosa tabra lakata, amro lakosa taba, Lift up your voice and pray. Masa is a major part of prosperity rain. Rain comes because somebody dares to ask. Masotaba. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout, I declare. Right now. The opportunities that are mine. I seen. The opportunities what that are what? Mine. I see. Say it again. Say the opportunities, the opportunities that, are that are mine. I see it. I see. Every time God helped me majorly, especially my finances, is linked to what I was able to what? See. And only God knows how many things I've overlooked that were opportunities. By declaring the name of Jesus. Your days of wasting opportunities are over. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear me. I say your days of wasting opportunities are over. Amen. In the game of soccer, a good striker is defined as a striker that converts opportunities. In fact, they convert, they, 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 there's a conversion percentage. He had seven chances. He converted five. I declare where you are concerned. You will deliver 100% concerning your chances. Somebody shout opportunities. Opportunity. Think about it. If Esther had not showed up, that was a beauty pageant, right? The next queen. But you know, she had to see it. There was a spirit of favor waiting for her to confirm her. But she had to what? Be there. Lift up her right and say, in the name of Jesus, every relevant appointment in this season, I will not miss it. I will be at the right place at the right time. Somebody shout hallelujah. You may be seated. Remember, this series is not a regular series. There are going to be times that we will worship extensively. There will be times that we will what? Pray. God is committed to you. You know, I, I've been sharing with you the different expressions of the spirit of prosperity. And a major part of it has to do with the spirit of what? Revelation that causes you to what? See. Of course, there is a confirmation or confirmment by the spirit of favor that helps you to be what? Be seen. So this morning, very briefly, let me share a few things with you along the line of major factors. I call them major factors for your prosperity rate. And number one is the blessing. The blessing. The blessing. Now, there's a real difference between the blessing and the manifestations of what? Blessings. You know, I have a car. What a blessing. Technically, it's a blessing. 
but there is the blessing that is behind that car. There's a force of God which is unseen that drives those manifestations. There are several cases of people that in the natural, they, they were not connected. They didn't have the right background. In fact, some of them they didn't have the appropriate education. They didn't have the appropriate network. And all these factors are amazing. And yet, without all of these amazing factors, these people prospered, stood out. And you are wondering, how come? Because when you read about this story, not someone with this kind of background. I declare in the name of Jesus, irrespective of what was deficient in your life, I declare by the power of the blessing, you will be elevated. So there is such a power of God that drives your life even when several things are missing in the natural. It's the empowerment of God that causes you to prosper, thrive, and succeed. Though unseen, is capable of producing huge manifestations. Is unseen, and yet we are seeing what is doing. Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-eight. The consciousness of the blessing. There is a consciousness of the blessing. Everybody read. One, two, three, go. Wait. God created man in his image. And then in verse 28, he says, And God blessed man. Hey. And the next thing he said... Because of this blessing, be fruitful. Multiply. Fill the heart. Subdue. In other words, every exploit of man is tied to the blessing. The reason why a man will be fruitful, the reason why a man will multiply, the reason why a man will fill the heart and subdue his environment is because he is blessed. And now, are you convinced you are that man that is blessed? Are you really convinced? Now shout it three times. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. So a blessed man has capacity to multiply. He has capacity to bear fruit. He has capacity to fill the heart. He's a, he's a person of influence. To subdue it. To walk in dominion. Jump up and shout, I am blessed. I'm blessed. You may be seated. Now, I don't know if you have been privileged to meet a few people that came from powerful families. Have you met a few of them? Maybe you went to school with them. If you've ever met somebody that has a very strong natural lineage. Can you wave your hands? Where did you go to school? Have you met people like that? Wave your hands. At least pretend you have met them. I mean, there, and if you really come close to some of these people, you will see how conscious they are of their lineage. Say, no, 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 don't worry, it's covered. Okay, why are you so confident? I know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say much, but okay, maybe you know what I don't know. Yes, he does. You are thinking about to get your resume out. It's like, mm. is that not what you are supposed to do? Then? Before he even enter the school, he has a job. <laughs> and you are there, quote and unquote, hustling. Ask your neighbor, say, are you a hustler? Are you a hustler? <laughs> say, you know, I'm just going to hustle through this life, you know, who knows, for adventure. Somehow, somehow. It will break through. You might break down. <laughs> He's conscious of what he has in the natural. And he's calm 
cool and collected. It's not moved. It's covered. Although you are in the same class, you are not classmates. Write it down. <laughs> Being in the same class does not mean you are classmates. Don't, do not be deceived. You are going for the same lectures. <laughs> you have the same lecturer. You might even have better grades. But it might be the one interviewing you for job. You just enter, ah. It's okay, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. But we were in the same class. Story, story, story. Before he enrolled in that program, he had a job. In fact, the only reason why he went through that program is just to prepare him for a position that was already his. <laughs> and he's aware of it. He's conscious of it. Now, if people are that conscious of natural privileges, how much more something deeper than the natural? And a lot of us, we write ourselves off, you know, if not for my background. What background? I thought if anyone is in Christ, is a new creature, what background? Ask your neighbor, what background? What is your background? What's your background? Now, the problem with some of us, so I say, where are you from? The first thing that comes to mind, Amisha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said that. <laughs> um, I'm a black man. I'm Latino. Because your consciousness is filled with that. I remember <laughs> when my son was in high school. I mean, one of his friends, you know, I mean, this was a little bit offensive. He looked at me and said, oh, yeah, I'm a Chinese man, you know, you know. And my son came over and said, this is what this guy said. He said, because he's Chinese. He's conscious. He said, oh, you know, we Chinese, we don't, we don't play. We win all the time, you know. Forget it. He was a little boy of probably 14, 15, but feel, I don't know what they were filling him with. So he felt superior to the rest. I forget. <laughs> we, we just, you know us, right? So my son came home and said, that's what that guy said. But the point I'm trying to make is there is a consciousness that drives your life. What consciousness do you have primarily? There is a consciousness that drives your life. There is a consciousness that drives your life. Now listen, people are not made by their bank account. Write it down. It's not your real estate or your stock market. So, I mean, your, the amount of stocks you have that makes you. What drives you is bigger than that. You can have all the money in this world in your account and yet your life is light. Because the most important thing, you don't have it here yet. And it's so sad we have Christians everywhere who goes around thinking small, thinking little, thinking light. They are so quick to see what they don't have. I don't have this. I don't have that. I wish I have the right family connection. I wish I can. In fact, some, of, some people, they might want to go and fight with their parents. Why did you decide to give back to me? You should, I should have let some, some other parents bat me. I wish I'm the son of so-so and so. I wish I'm the daughter of so. I'm serious. And that's why some people, they would rather spend more time in their friend's house than in their house. Say, ah, I wish... Why can't these people bat me? Because in their consciousness is what makes men is a distance, the right family connection. Oh, people that come from this part of the nation, they are wired differently. They have high cues. You know, I met a man 
in, in Northern California over 20 years ago. The very first day I met this man, he was disgusting. Met me and was like, wow, I was so excited. He said, ah, you are, you, are, you, are, you are made. You're a pharmacist. And your wife is a computer engineer. You are made. Say, look at me. Look at the woman I married. True life story. I saw that woman. I said, this is a beautiful woman. This is a good woman. This is a, what did this woman, the woman that gave birth to three beautiful girls for you? He said, ah. He said, you know me. I'm a lawyer. But this one. I was grieved. So that man, according to him, the reason why his life is slow is because he married a nobody. By the way, for him to have married a nobody, what does that mean? Please, please say, say, say what you are thinking. What does it mean? It's a nobody. It takes a nobody to fall in love with a what? A nobody. Yes. God bless you, Elaine. It takes one to know one. Even with your law degree, you are still a nobody. If that's your thinking. But can we be real this morning? A lot of Christians still have that problem. They see deficiencies in the natural. Oh, my background, my academic background, my family background, the kind of school. Now, please don't get me wrong. Good schools are amazing. I have nothing against them. I mean, I went to a great school, you know. Don't let us go into that. I would rather not boast in myself. Let me boast in my wife. My wife went to a great school, you know. You know, good school. Yes, she's, I'm blessed to marry her. She went to Cornell. <laughs> my daughter is in Wash U. So I have nothing against great school. Say, Pastor K, say, it's not about great school. If God gives you an opportunity to go to great school, why not? Go there. But should that be your primary consciousness? A medical doctor. There are a lot of broke medical doctors. Just because of their uh, SUV, don't don't be be not deceived. <laughs> the leaks in their life, the fat salary does not make sense because, brrr, but there is a blessing of the Lord. He said the blessing of the Lord makes rich. Do you know it's possible for you to hand less and still be more effective than somebody that hands much more? We talk about God increasing your opportunities. What about God sealing the holes in your life? There are holes that some people, their holes are bigger than the opportunities. Hey. So as the opportunity is coming, food, you are. even before they can enjoy the opportunity, huh? Um, 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 um. Big holes. Can note that are bigger than you. Because you want to post on Instagram, the Lord has done it. No, the Lord did not do it. You were stupid. <laughs> That's what happened. It's stupidity. Instagram life is not a real life. Write it down. Instagram life is not a real life. <laughs> if you really like the car, look for it in your neighborhood. Stand beside it and pray and take a picture. Don't put any caption. <laughs> Let people ask. Let people assume whatever they want to assume. Let them assume. I mean, can, can anybody call you a liar? No, no. Did, you, did you say you own the car? No. In fact, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, just look for different cars. <laughs> so I say, how do I find? Go to mall. I mean, they're always in the mall. Go there and say, isn't the law good? <laughs> I mean... Go to nice neighborhood in your, in your, in your city. All, all those seven bedroom houses stand in front and say, the Lord is good. It's a free world. Just make sure you are not trespassing. <laughs> I can give you another formula. Call your realtor. Although these days, there are some houses they will not let you see. <laughs> if there's no qualification. <laughs> we were blessed to live at a time that, I mean, we, nobody was asking for qualification those days in in Romeo, we just say, maybe we just, I was a realtor this day, I've even forgot it. Just take us to houses in Borridge. I was like, oh my God, nice house. We didn't have $10,000 to our name. I would be like, seven bedroom house, oh, beautiful. Do, do you have anything bigger than this? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I like the house, but, but, but the yard is, is a little bit small. <laughs> it's free to dream. Oh my God. Lift up your hands and shout, I'm blessed. There's a thinking of a blessed man. It does not see himself as small. But at the same time, he does not get into depth to impress. That is not faith life, it's fake life. There's a time to enjoy your Toyota. And with your full chest, you drive it. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. Enjoy it. A blessed life does not mean a fake life. Big O's. We're going on vacation to Bahamas or Jamas. I don't care where you are going to. Go to Wisconsin first. There's a place called Wisconsin Dell. Go and Dell yourself and your family. What's the point going on a vacation that it will take six months to pay off? So we've been saving for this vacation for the last five years. That's foolishness. So we just want to give ourselves a treat for, for a week or two weeks. It's been the, the dream. What dream? That's not a dream. That is a leak. Oh, Zakuru Bolok or Shetebeki. I've always desired. Adjust your desire. Or it's not yet time for that desire. But it's the consciousness of the blessed or the blessing that is so essential. I'm blessed. The Lord blessed man. Although the first man messed up, lost the blessing, but the last Adam came and fixed it. Now I'm redeemed from the curse of the law. I walk in the blessing. I have the empowerment to prosper, to succeed, or to excel. Whatever I don't have in the natural does not matter. He cannot limit me. Where I was born, who gave birth to me, the neighborhood I grew up, the schools I went to are too small to limit me. Amen. What is primarily responsible for my blessing or for my prosperity is the blessing. Amen. Hey, write it down. The blessing is the primary factor for my prosperity. Write it down. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord. It did not say not western. The blessing of the Lord. Write it down. The blessing of the Lord. No University of Chicago. The blessing of the Lord. Please, no offense. If you're in those beautiful places, it's not Avad. The blessing of the Lord. Bumi, no offense. It's the blessing of the Lord. And to the glory of God, we have Avad train, we have Cornell train. It's not Cornell that makes you. There are people that went to those great schools, but there's nothing great about their lives. And just because they have a great, a, a fat account does not make their life great. Miserable. They might even get a great job and yet be so depressed and miserable. The blessing makes. is the primary maker. I have the blessing. I wear it on my mind. I wear it on my chest. I walk around as if I own the world. I'm blessed. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 says he has blessed me with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Can anything be more than that? So I said, oh yeah, let me see your resume. Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? Then stop. I'm blessed. Get on your feet. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I want you to leave this place this morning excited about the blessing. Shout it on the mountain top. I am blessed. Nothing in this life can limit me. It doesn't matter where you are born, how you are born, where you are raised, who raised you. It's not about the wealth of your parents or the connection of your parents. It's not about your past mistake. It's about the blessing of the law. Somebody shout, I am blessed. And to be blessed is to be made. The blessing of the Lord make it. So there's no deficiency that the blessing cannot make up for. I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. There were five things I was going to talk about. But apparently, this is the only thing the Lord wants me to talk about this morning. I'm blessed. I said I am 
Yes, the rest will be taken care of. And if that blessing will now need me to go to Cornell, it will send me to Cornell. If I need Northwestern or University of Chicago, Chicago or Harvard or Purdue, it will get me there. But primarily, I am blessed. I don't go around sounding disadvantaged. Ah, I wish. I wish. It's a dangerous thing to live a life of I wish. I wish. When you already have everything. It says all things are yours. And then you I wish. I wish. I wish. What are you wishing? What you have, you don't value it. He blessed man. You know, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28, the Bible did not say he card man. He housed man. No. Even before he wifed him, he blessed him. I've had stories like this before. Ah, it's because I've not married though. <laughs> Once I marry a powerful woman like this, what kind of a man are you? And if you're a woman, what kind of a woman are you? Let me just, let me marry. All these struggles because I'm single. If you are broke or single, a ring will not change your status. <laughs> Where prosperity is concerned. So the summary of today's meeting is wear the blessing on your mind. Amen. Don't you never say wear the blessing, wear the blessing. on your mind. Amen. Walk around. I'm blessed. Cut walk. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. So why, you, why, why do you have so much swag? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Can, can, you, can, you, can you do for me that bless walk? Come on, come on. Walk. Uh, just carry yourself anyhow. Please don't do that again. Come on, walk, walk, walk like that. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. My, let me see your blessed self walk, please. Uh, uh, someone say, why, why do you walk like you own Chicago? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, though. Oh, Boko, I say I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. I'm so blessed that nothing can stop me. Even my accent cannot stop me. The color of my skin cannot stop me. I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. If God says it's mine, it's mine. If God, if God calls me blessed, then that's it. That's it. I don't go around talking about what I don't have. I go around talking about what I have. I am blessed. All the blessed folks in the house, can you scrip on top of your lungs right now? I'm blessed! I said 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 I'm blessed! Come on, scream it again. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Listen, let me hand on this. I didn't plan this. I just found myself walking to her. This Ellen Paul. I've known Ellen Paul since she was a teenager. She walked into our church in 1999. Probably 18 or 19. I'm not even sure again. And somebody in the neighborhood who plays keyboard brought her. Wale. 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 And she was just so audacious after the service, midweek service, not even Sunday service. That was a few months before I returned to America. So she came to me. Pastor, I'm going for a competition in Abuja, a singing competition. Can you pray for me? And I prayed for her. Our whole bringing was a mess. She grew up not knowing her dad. She grew up calling her mom by first name because her mom gave up to her at 14. So I prayed for her and the blessing started working. I even left, but the blessing did not leave. God raised different people at different times. She lived in the houses of church members at one time or the other. I don't want to go into storytelling. Today, the story is different. Listen, she started out singing. So what, that's what we knew her for. 
she, she was working as a receptionist in a co a co remix sector. So there was supposed to be there was was in Lagos. There was supposed to be a, a, a recording advert, picnic advert, and a little girl was supposed to do it. But lo and behold, the little girl did not show up. And there was this receptionist downstairs who plays around with baby's voice. So in desperation, one of the people said, but what about that receptionist girl? Can we manage her? So they went and said, can you do it? So they set her up. Well, give me a microphone, give me a microphone. I'm rounding up, give me a microphone. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You have no limitation. Don't allow your background in the natural to put your back on the ground. Stand up with your full chest. So, they said, you can punctuate as needed. So, they said, will you do it? Yes, I'll do it if you will buy me mirrors. <laughs> so, they set her up. And she did it. Yes. And what did they say? And they later came back that afternoon and said, we need her to come and sign a contract. It's been approved at the head office. Then I said, what contract? I don't know. I'm not signing anything. You, the mirror you promised, you bought. <laughs> And my salary was 9500 And the company, after signing paper that I didn't read, I started making 400 every month. I can go on and on. But don't worry, if you want to hear the rest of the story, come to Gary's Gala. I mean, the Benefit Gala is at 4 p.m. Someone say 4 p.m. You will hear the rest of the story. Today, she is Dr. Elaine, not honorary. Oh, sorry. Okay, she, she's a chair of a school in America, departments. Did a PhD in Nigeria. In fact, that's another story. How the whole American thing. That's another, you know, there's a way the blessing just goes ahead of you, clears the paths. You know, all manner of people were counseling her when she was coming to America. Oh no, America swallows people. Yeah, be, 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 be. I told her, I said, Elaine, if God is bringing you here, nothing can swallow you. She's still in the entertainment space and she's a chair of a school in America. They wanted her to make her chair. I said, I'm not yet a full professor. They said, can we fast track you? Yes. So they fast tracked her. The blessing is your primary qualification. In fact, even me, a pastor, if anybody had told me that this troublesome girl would be a professor one day, what did you say? I've changed. You have changed. Amen. <laughs> That's what she said. You will discover if she has changed at 4 p.m. This, you know, every time she calls me, I said, my daughter that does not make trouble. That's how I greet her. It's a confession of faith. So, <laughs> but listen, the blessing is everything. Then, if anybody if says, I point to anybody in this church who is likely to become a professor in years to come, she will get zero votes. Nobody will vote for her. Because our classmates are even entered university. She, she was still looking for money to do jump. Remember those days she would go to a fair? Not as a student, to scout with students. So she will follow them and pray in fellowship. Even the people that took her around, how many of them have PhD? Unless they dash them. The blessing is real. Turn to your neighbor say, the blessing, the blessing is real. What is supposed to be a disadvantage, she stands before the world and says it unashamedly. I'm a product of rape. My mom gave birth to me at 14. She was not raised by a mother. She was not raised by a grandmother. She was raised by a great grandmother. Then, 
all those ones are story now. The most important thing is the blessing that makes. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. What are your excuses? The reason why you can't rise? Do you still have any? Shout it, I'm blessed. Scream it one more time. I am blessed. Did you get something out of this? The blessing is real. It's not just some story written about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the rest. It's my story. Put yourself there. It's my story. I'm blessed. No more excuse. My wife left me. You are still blessed. Everybody abandoned me. You are still blessed. In fact, the more the trouble the more the manifestation of the blessing. I'm blessed. I said I'm blessed. Anybody ready for an amazing week? An amazing season? Help from everywhere. Father, we give you praise.